Hey everybody, welcome to the working title, Drunken Rambles, with Chris, Patrick, and Nicole. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Hey everybody, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Nicole. All right, this is a brand new podcast where we get completely plastered before the show, and we see where it goes. So, um, sit down, strap in, and enjoy. So... Does anybody have a starting topic? Well, the fact that you didn't record our best conversation ever so far. (sighs) The sigh of regret. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yes. We can argue for 15 minutes about what we're going to talk about. That's great. I don't know if I spelled Nicole right on this title card. That's okay. We'll figure it out. (laughs) I mean, there's only like so many ways you can spell Nicole, right? I think there's only one, so that's cool. I'm okay. sure there's like 50, but... Well, if you so, put some extra Y's and shit in there, yeah. Here's, Nicole. We're going to do a little bit <laughs> of background Nicole. between each of us. Uh, I, Patrick, am in, <laughs> currently unemployed. Uh, Chris works in the corporate world. Corporate. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll call it retail. <laughs> we'll, get into, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. And uh, Nicole, she works as an accountant... Uh, for a company. I didn't know you were an accountant. That's cool. Nah, not Kinda. like a college accountant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and yeah. time for this. Dirty money, right? <laughs> like and <water>. another <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh no. It's spilled. It's spilled a bit. You're good. You're good. Oh. It was on me. I'm not well, good. <laughs> you'll be fine, I'm sure. When the cop rolls down the window, I'll be like, you smell. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's Dos Equis. It's, fine. it's <laughs> no big deal. I so, spelt it on myself. Not nights. sponsored, by the way, by Dos Equis. <laughs> no. um, so, this will be a weekly podcast consisting of 45 minutes to an hour at best, or however the hell long we want, because you know how drunken people get. They ramble on and on and on. Like you're doing now. Perfect. Exactly. Okay. (laughs) So, uh, we are not sponsored in any way. We're each responsible for uh, keeping tabs of the others because... Yeah. Oh, uh, man, we we have the uh, we have the accountability uh, buddy system going on. Hey. <laughs> Everybody grab a buddy. <laughs> so we have different topics we want to talk about. We want to make this fun for the listener as well as us. Uh, we <laughs> mostly come us. First. Most, <laughs> mostly us. We are the most important in this. Absolutely, yeah. we're narcissistic bastards. Hey, I'm alright with it. My beard's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. So, hmm. let's jump right in, and uh, we're going to do a quick little segment called Nostalgia Corner. And this is going to focus on 90s-ish stuff, uh, because that's when we were all kids. I except, mean, I was, I was born in 94. Except, so. except Chris, he was like a kid 90s. in, like, 99. Hey, I had an older brother, though, so I got to watch all of his, like, <laughs> reruns. Perfect. You got all his hand down toys? I had all of his toys and everything yeah. like that, so I feel like Very I good. qualify at least decently mm-hmm. enough to hopefully... So, Nostalgic Corner, I kind of have an idea. We're going to go through three different cartoons of the era, oh, man, and we're going to see... This is sounding more like trivia. How it works. No. <laughs> uh, there is no trivia. There are no questions. Uh, if you guys like what you're hearing, please remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for the notifications. So, here we go. First one up, something that is near and dear to my heart, Tailspin. See, I never watched Tailspin. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, I just got here. <laughs> I'm too drunk to drive, guys. Oh. Um, I guess. Okay. But, um, yeah, no, I, I never watched Tailspin. I mean, I... Oh, I know what it is. Tailspin. Yeah. Like, I totally know what it is. And, like, I know my brother used to watch it. I just I just never personally watched it. So... You that this is this is a conversation for you guys. Well, no, so. you can intervene. Have you ever seen it whatsoever? I've never seen. Tales How about we each uh, put in our own? So you put okay. in one. What's yours? Ugh. Um, okay, no. I'll skip you and I'll go and then you can go. <laughs> okay, cool. Let Rocco's go. Modern Life is yes, absolutely that's life a good for one. me. That's a good um, one. It came on at the perfect time, like four thirty in the afternoon. And I got home off the bus at like four fifteen. So cool. and so I listened. <laughs> Nickelodeon was truly the king of oh, afternoon cartoons. Well, because mine was going to be mine was going to be Rugrats. <gasps> yeah, Rugrats is like, pretty good. Rugrats uh, was the longest running kids show. It absolutely. Until and they Spongebob. had their own until movie. Spongebob, but yeah. 
Yeah, no, they had a they had at least a couple of movies. For I know for this. two. I yeah, know, I know for sure two, and then one three like, apparently. Patrick yeah, because they did a. They he did remembers Rugrats in Paris. every single thing, so we don't have to worry what? about anything. He well, see, so yeah, I know, know that they did Rugrats in Paris, yep. and then they did Reptars Rage or whatever. So, who was your favorite? Oh God, Chucky probably. Ah, uh, uh, Phil. Phil, and I Phil? almost had a crush on him. Well, that's just odd. It's kind of <laughs> so I didn't. It is want, kind of odd. So I, so, I did like Rugrats you know, when I was a kid, whatever. but they came out with the all grown up series, and I really absolutely enjoyed the all grown up because I like the idea of seeing characters I love it's age. Worse worse. Ooh, shot down. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, I hate that, dude. I don't know why it's so disgusting at this point. It's getting so so. Tonight's drink of choice. We're Everybody gonna, we're is gonna taking shots of oh. Ivanka bitch. Ivana, Ivana bitch. Ivana. Uh, which, if you guys didn't know, is I don't know. I would Trump's, check that before you. No, uh, it's it's don't legit. Plug James, it. ha- I'm not plugging him. Uh, Dude, it's Ivana bitch apple vodka. It's Dude, very I'm interesting. Gonna, shut us down. Dude, you're gonna get it's your huge. Uh, you're gonna get your house bombed. I'll just, just get another presidential. T- <laughs> it's there huge. it is. It's, it's huge. huge, huge. So but anyway, all grown up. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. All grown up was really fun for me. I never. I seen actually that. enjoyed and that a lot more than I thought I was. There was as told by Ginger on at that time and yeah. some other yeah, exactly. ones. Exactly. What's Ginger? I'm confused. As told by Ginger was like a maybe she was like a 13 year old girl. That's okay, when I'm I started done. out the teen Nick thing. Yeah. Um, and, and you know what? I did not like when they added. Um, did I just get another shot? Absolutely. Yeah, did. You don't have to drink it right now. You can come down. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, are we doing this? Everybody's or? grabbing it, and then I'm like, no, and they're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can let, let, let's hold back for like three minutes. We'll be we good. We can wait. Um, Dan, or er, Nicole is our shot master for the evening. She has a Vana bitch in her hands. I am absolutely the uh, ringleader of that. But anyway. I have, a, I have a chaser of Dos Equis, if anyone cares. Uh, <laughs> I am drinking beer pale. That looks pale like Louisiana. Ale. There's a Louisiana. Is that a Louisiana image. thing? Yeah, yeah obviously. Why don't you go move oh, to Louisiana? I didn't do this. So I have nothing else to drink, it. and so I'm like, <laughs> that's trustworthy. They brought a lot of things. Even those, you're actually drinking one of the left behinds. So, eh, I can handle it. I'll be fine. <laughs> What, the alcohol angel? (laughs) So anyway, I don't like that they added a little brother. Um, Just not a fan of it. Dill? Dill. Oh, have they they aged up Dill? I mean, yeah, no, Dill was weird. I don't like that they even added Dill to begin with. Until this point, ever put together Dill pickles? Well, obviously. I totally understood. Yeah. Yeah. They made it very obvious. Well, it's like, his is the only name that actually made sense out of that. That's why it stuck with me. It was Stu, Dee Dee, and Tommy. uh, Tommy. And then Dill. And it's like... What? Stu. Stu was the dad. dad. Stu was the okay. dad. What was the grandpa's name? Do we know? Grandpa. I, I'm as far as I'm Hang on. I'm oh, totally full of shit. Oh. I will make anyway. up any yeah. fucking thing. Anyway, right. go ahead. What were you saying? <laughs> I just don't like that they added the brother. I mean, I know they were trying to spice it up or whatever, but I'm just like... Well, I mean, yeah. after... I mean, it's total shit because well, he was, was pretty like... worthless as a character. Well, yeah, he was a he fucking made... baby. Well, fuck, they all were. But <laughs> he made they were the other baby and... like grow up like he had to be like the man of the house and like you know what's ass. interesting though is in all grown up that didn't even like kill the grandpa uh Didn't by you? the way his name is uh lewis Calhern pickles what the fuck kind of a name is they that? named him all the way like middle Wait, name and all his name lewis Calhern pickles you read that out loud so that we see that he's not fucking it up i have to see no it's lewis Calhern. let me see it's <laughs> lewis Calhern. my eyeballs need to see it Apparently my judgment. What the skewed. fuck? <laughs> Always, <laughs> you picked me, so your phone done. is so bright. I hate it. Ugh. Oh my gosh! I oh bet my you god! god. <laughs> I'm that... like, turn it down, you creep! Like, no wonder you wear glasses. <laughs> wow! You're, You're blinding yourself daily. <laughs> yeah, it gets worse. Don't ever get married. I mean, oh. I will at some point. Don't do it. I hope it's to your left hand. No. <laughs> I hope it's to your dog. I'm a righty, so... Perfect. It's <laughs> like a stranger. <laughs> oh, man. 
<laughs> Alright, so anyway, so I, we, we covered the Rugrats thing. Is there anything else anybody wants to say about it? Um, we can stick in the 90s for a minute, and we can well, cause travel. Fuck y'all, we didn't even talk about Rocco. Well, no, so we're, no, we're, we're getting that. Rocco right? is absolutely oh, amazing. So we'll get to yours. I have one more to add that's just kind of like a collective, so go ahead. You only get one. I'm well, kidding, go ahead. Is it, is it Kablam? <laughs> no, it is not. Although, Space Jam. did watch that show. <laughs> Space Jam. That's not a show. I, I wish know, it was a movie, but I'm just um, saying, if you watch it every day, maybe. I don't know. No, uh, Rocket League. <gasps> or no, not Rocket, Rocket Power. Rocket Power. Thank you. With He's gonna know it all. He will know every character. Rocket Power is the fucking shit. It. I love that. Rocket Power. I never is great. watched that. I'm I drove a 1964 Wood Panel Woody. So yeah. I'm like older than you guys by a bit, and by so two like, years. I'm three years older than you, and two. nine years older than him. Well, let's just not get into that. Then. <laughs> but so I don't know Rocket Power, so y'all can handle that one. Rocket Power was great. I loved Rocket Power so much, and um, it was just a really cool show because I was into skateboarding at that time and I thought yeah. it was like the coolest thing ever and I didn't care much about surfing because I thought they were all douchebags but so those who don't know anything about Rocket Power the pilot episode had Sam or Squid uh, which is what they aptly nicknamed him uh, he was the stop rocking it's like well he was the he was the uh, he was the goalie because yeah. they, they had a whole actually like arc his family him. was from Wisconsin and they yeah. moved into the moved, it, moved to Hawaii with the rest of the with this the rest is of the, the creepiest kids. like thing. Okay. So what do we know so much about it? I used to watch that. The you're show like telling his whole backstory oh. for like no. Real he was reason. my favorite character. I loved yeah. him. He was cool. Well, because like he had a whole story arc where he was okay, like. Well, okay. Well, aside from the out. story, like what's good about him? Like what what personality traits did he have? That He's were like super memorable? loyal. Um, yeah. He cared a whole lot about everyone else, even though that even sounds just like care. me. All right, Hufflepuff, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Hufflepuff too. I am all these great things. Continue. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a Hufflepuff too. It's all right. It's okay. But no, he was like super loyal. He cared about the uh, two hundred points to Gryffindor. Oh, you dick. <laughs> but he cared about the other, like his friends, even if they didn't like seem to care about him a lot. And there was a whole story arc where they like where he actually kind of snapped on them, and they were like, "Oh shit, yeah, he's a good friend. I don't know what we're gonna do without him." And it was it was a really really cool moment. I'm very touched right now. You're a liar. You've moved me. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, but seriously. Of course you are. No, I mean, that's a good, no, I mean, good personality trait. It was a really okay. cool thing, because like for, for a cartoon at the time, mm-hmm. they didn't have a whole lot of character like development for ago. that. So, if you guys aren't familiar, it was <laughs> based around a family. Uh, <laughs> all the characters <laughs> were in there, but the main family feature was <clears throat> Otto. Mm-hmm. Um, you had... Tito, which was like an extended family member. Uncle, who essentially. Yeah. They, they called him uncle, even though he was kind of just a family friend. Ray Rocket, which is the father, and you had Regina Rocket, which is the sister of Otto and daughter of Ralph. Yes. Or Ray. I don't know why I said Ralph. I mean, Ralph is a better name, anyway. That's right. his middle name. One really? of them. That's awesome. He has several. That's cool. <laughs> we, should, we should get into that on a future so, episode. Um, <laughs> get up. Back in the 90s, Nickelodeon really did have the golden They set the standard. That was, that was the golden standard, yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, because Toonami was on Cartoon Network, and I actually yeah. really liked the old school DBC. Yeah. You told me you gave this back to me, and here it is where you sit your crap. Now is, now is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, no, I mean, Please Toonami was awesome. Please for spousal abuse. And, uh, <laughs> no, not for me. I'm going to be beat in the face. Uh, um, but, I'm, yeah, I've never no, I mean, Toonami was really great because that's where I first watched Dragon Ball. Um, yeah. Not Dragon Ball Z. Um, I mean, I've seen a little bit of Dragon Ball Z, but I stopped at Dragon Ball. What about Reboot? Uh, didn't care much. Yeah. Didn't I don't care think much. anybody did. But, I mean, I saw... But they still made it. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I watched Yu Yu Hakusho, which you know is my favorite anime ever. No. I love that shit so much. Uh, but, I mean, they also had, like, a bunch of other random animes on there and just some really good cartoons. And then even, I don't even know if you guys remember this, but they had a uh, old-school uh, Boomerang. Mm-hmm. Do you remember Boomerang? Yeah, Where they had, like, like Yogi. And yeah, like Yogi, and they had yeah, Flintstones. Boo-boo. Yeah, they had, like, so Flintstones. Let me get this and, picnic basket. Oh, they had that uh, that racer one, too, that racer show. They had, like, Speed racer? No, no, not speed racer. Whereas, like all the uh, all the cartoon characters got together and they raced. Great. So, uh, quick insight: we are all eating uh, not, bean not, boozles. We are all. I am not. And I just got dead fish. Ugh. But don't you like? I mean, you like sushi. So, what's the difference? Not much. I mean, if it wasn't that bad, you wouldn't. Have, you would be like gagging up right now. Right. right. I'm gonna try or juicy pear. 
<laughs> That's so, nice. Is fire. it going to be sweet or salty? Oh. So now we're going to migrate into <clears throat> Nicole's pick, which is oh <laughs> Rocco's Modern So you, you were talking about dead fish? Rocco's Modern like dead fish. Life. It's phenomenal. So, where do you want to start with Rocco? I don't want to start. I just, um, it was always there for me in my time of need. No, I think it was more of a timing issue for me, but it was really great, and I loved it, and I look forward to it every day. Um, that was great. <laughs> I, I I always remember that uh, mayonnaise episode. Message. Do you remember the mayonnaise episode? I do not. I don't remember that episode specifically. Um, apparently they were making. I don't remember exactly because I mean this was years ago, but they were making fun of television and awesome. the types of things that are popular. And so I like guess Marcos they were making right. They were making a show, and they were trying to make and everybody hey, loved it. Are we not recording? Because that we can we can mesh them right. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, they were trying to make people hate the show, and so they decided to, they, they did a few things and it didn't work out, but they decided to air a 30-minute clip of a mayonnaise jar, and everybody still loved it. I mean, that was just so much in the aesthetic of that show, though. Because, like, remember when uh, Rocco was a uh, worker of a sex line? <laughs> yes. I don't remember that, but you now don't I feel remember that? really horrible that I don't. Well, it's like it was only like a couple of seconds long, because it's like he lost his job and he was looking for something else, if I remember correctly. Correct me if I'm wrong. No, um, I think you're right. Yeah, but it's like they showed like a huge montage of him doing like a bunch of different jobs and stuff, and uh, one of them was basically him on the phone. Yeah, that was a that was a spasm of a reaction. <laughs> but uh, they showed him on the phone, and then like on the background, there's a still of this. Where it's just like, it was like, uh, only sexy talk, like nothing. It nothing said insane. that shit. Yeah, it said that shit. And he was hardcore, I think he was hardcore at a sex line. Because I can't remember if they, they probably didn't say anything that was on the other line, uh, on the other end of the phone. But I mean, it was hardcore sex shop. <laughs> he was working for a sex I line. I would totally call Rocco on a sex line. I uh, want to hear that sweet Australian accent. I think my, <laughs> like, yeah. my uh, favorite character. That I became so fond of. You're an odd person. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. You're you're obsessed My with like absolute Phil, a toddler. Favorite character was okay, I was a child, and I wasn't obsessed with them. I just almost had a crush on them. Like you, I mean, you can't I have didn't a think crush of it. On a wall. It wasn't. <laughs> Was you wallaby, can it? actually. Well, so I didn't have a crush cool on. Rocco. I'm like I had a crush on Jessica Rabbit. Well, okay, I think a lot of real. boys did. Let's she was honest. a sex symbol. <laughs> now he's like making excuses no I did not have a crush on Rocco I said I almost had a crush on Phil Phil was human I was a child he was a child calm down <laughs> yeah but Rocco I didn't have a crush on Rocco I just said I would listen to him <laughs> do you know what a sex line is <laughs> do you know it's that a give you and don't take industry. actually have to do things when you're listening to it no, you don't have to you but... can listen it's like, yeah, like you can't just, just watch true. porn without touching yourself I yeah, mean most I'm, people I'm don't what is the possibility that. I'm saying you. Most people don't, but it's a possibility. Like, I mean, like, it totally is. You're not forced. It's like, oh, you're absolutely right. Hello, hello. Yeah, I'm calling because okay, I so need this... financial advice. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have any. I can guarantee it. I can help. She you. probably didn't She's go to college. Two ninety nine a minute. That's all she has going for is two ninety nine a minute. So listen, Whoa. if. This is a good. This is a good segue because I do have a question because I remember that this shitty two wheeled scooter. What? No. Like what? Shut the fuck up. Two um, wheels. Yeah. still exist. <laughs> yeah, they do still exist. Even though that guy ran off the edge Dallas. of a mountain or something. Yes, the owner. Yeah, how or the, 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 the owner. Like, It'll stop. Or, boom. Uh, uh, well, it's like fuck, we didn't put Roomba technology. <laughs> 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 Please fix this. Write that in my memoir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, but anyway, did any of you, and y'all might be too young for this, but used to, stop rolling your eyes at me. <laughs> Things have time limits that they're Yo, just popular. Get, just back in my day. I'm already I know, stuff, back in dinosaurs my dinosaurs roam the earth? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that much older than you, but I'm just saying, if something only lasted like two life? years, then you missed yeah, it. Yeah, it was on. <laughs> okay. I'm just playing with it. Oh, okay. Just don't stab me. Like, no matter what I do. Canker. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. make a bad joke when it's closed. Because <laughs> <laughs> then I'd just be like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> for a time, there were 
those lines were really, really popular, and it was kind of like a... Those I don't want to call it a sex line. Are you talking about lava line? Like that where, type of shit, exactly. Like party lines? Kind of, but it was like sexy. I might oh, yeah. not know what you're talking about. So lava line. <gasps> Perfect, so I was right. It was not during your time. See, you act like I was being a bitch about it, but I was being for real. Well, I mean, you've been saying that since I showed up at your guys' place, so I mean... Well, I asked you how old you were first. <laughs> <laughs> You All must right. have an ID present. I'm the Holmes. Fair play. No, but in, honestly, um, so they happy. used to have those. Uh, don't say that randomly without dog? any reference. You oh, are literally out of like, context. There's an animal talk- in his lap no, right listen, now. We're talking about a sex line, too. and you're like, mm, so fluffy. Like, no, can't do that. <laughs> mm, so fluffy. <laughs> In my previous life, I was a fluffer from 1950 porn stars. Oh, Lord. I know Dude, someone. That was who you'd probably be a into. great time to be alive. A for a fluffer, oh. for I think now's a great time to be alive for well, just those think types about of it. people. Furry, I mean, just, <sighs> you call them a fluffer. Is there a difference? Okay, so a fluffer and a furry completely different. A fluffer, really? Is just, oh yes, keeps somebody hard during. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. I knew that. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, then in the fury, fury, the fury, wow. the fury, <laughs> the fury of the furry. The the furry is right. They. they I know what the furry up. is. We we have some friends that. So then are, you do know. Are into that. I mean, so, so like, in all reality, I think it's odd. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But. Who the fuck well, wants to dress up as an what, animal and fuck Most what of the made time. That, I think what made that um, standard, not standard, more acceptable is, like, the dancing bears Mm-mm. and all Pedo that. Bear? No, not Probably. pedo bear, bitch. Dancing bears. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You mean, like, the mm-hmm. Chuck E. Cheese bears or the country bears? He doesn't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Gummy bears? No. It's like a whole, like, porn... What? Indus- not industry, I do know what you're talking about. But Is that weird? It's a type. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know what you're into. Oh, right. <laughs> I, never <laughs> said, I never said I know what that's into. It's been, I'm kidding. Is it, has it been oh, sorry, I'm choking my dog trying to get a shot. Oh, <laughs> this <laughs> sounds all bad. Animal cruelty. No, I'm just kidding. Honey, why don't you just have me pour it for you? It's cool. Do you want another one? Uh, all right. It's yeah. been about 20 Forget minutes. You guys know what that means. It's shot time. Shot, 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 shot. Dude, we need to have a shot. Everybody, <laughs> shot, shot, shot. We need to have a shots button to where every time we reach every every twenty minute increment, that we just so shot, we just shot, shot. We, we just keep it going until we're tired of the podcast. Like our podcast ends with us passing out, and I gotta edit eight <laughs> hours of sleep. On I mean, it. that might not be a bad it just thing. Has, like moaning and so shit. for reference, I I work. Salute, about, oh God, yeah, salute. And smack the table. Fuck, where's the line? Ugh, it gets so much worse every time. Our professional opinion on Ivanka, Ivana bitch. It's Ivanka. great when you first open the bottle. I mean, amazing. Totally smooth and delicious. And then once you get halfway through, it's like it's burning. It's stabbing and- my mouth. <laughs> I don't understand. So It's, it's highly uh, offensive to my throat. So it is... Avana bitch, Dutch apple flavored vodka, mm-hmm. and as soon as you crack the seal, it's phenomenal. It tastes like an actual fucking apple. And then so fucking smooth, man. It's it's great. And then like that last shot was absolutely terrible. We're about what what would you call it? Like three quarters in. I'm I'm eight. Um, if ish. I'm eight shots deep in this game. I'm not counting, but I'm probably like one or more above him. Above me? Above him? Oh, uh, I'm probably about tied. But anyway. Hi, I'm Paul. <laughs> Dude, Jimmy Neutron. Hell yeah. Oh, Early 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> that was the only thing that they have ever produced. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron was a good, good show. Okay, Jimmy let's Neutron talk about something great. that's not cartoons. All right. All right, fine. Well, we okay, but let's explain to him what that line is, though, because I feel like he doesn't understand. Which line? What line? Go back to it. The lava line or... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so yeah. so it was like a late night commercial. Okay. Thank um, you, Comedy Central. Was and it, it was like... Scantily clad girls, not not totally like lingerie, oh, but just shit. like hold on. Tanks I know exactly. Not what you're girls about, gone wild. Not no. girls gone wild. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. They didn't about, have to like actually. star out their nipples or anything. Well, no. So and she's like, "Hi, are you bored tonight?" Hi, I'm Angela. I really and want somebody like to talk to. GPA. I'm I'm <clears throat> I'm up at four a.m. What do you think? <laughs> yes, but I'm it, bored. you weren't talking to those chicks. You were calling in randomly. Oh, of course. And you were saying what you were like a male or female, and then you were saying like what you were into, and then people I'm into would like sex. Oh, I like, <laughs> feel a part of my asshole. 
it would give that is a taste porn the avenue. rainbow. Hold on, yeah, no, that's a porn avenue that had no one. Oh, that was right next to the mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> That okay. is a porn avenue no one Speaking has. Speaking of porn avenues, I for all you ASMR people, hello. <laughs> so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I'm the most going gentle to... Kool Aid man ever. <laughs> <laughs> is that Macho Man? It could be Macho Man, it could be Kool Aid Man. They're kind of the same. Ooh, that was Ooh, cool. yeah. yeah. Hulk Hogan, you, you really. <laughs> oh, you you know. don't even know. Lucky you're drinking too much. Okay, but anyway. Drank. Okay, you're right, but I also have. I'm also there. It's cool. Um, But anyway, (laughs) yeah, so you'd call in, and then you'd be matched up with some dude, and then um, you would talk to each other, and mainly they did it for, like, phone sex for random people. I don't know if I got canned dog food or chocolate pudding. It's hard because they're both disgusting. Well, I mean, honestly, if you don't know, it's probably the bad one. That's a good rule of thumb. But I'm fat, so I'll eat it anyway. Boom. But, but was, so only one. Could you imagine? Probably? Could you imagine working in that industry, right? The sex well, this was industry? free. Well, I mean, either way, I mean, like just the dudes had to pay, and the chicks called for free, right. and so they weren't paying anyone because the right. chicks were calling. So you've done this then? Right. Yes. Okay. Right. But I mean, like, still, either way, right. that went a lot smoother than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I would say no, and then you would have to like, like, to... come on, yeah. <laughs> I but am no. an honest person. I mean, that's absolutely I called. Yeah. I mean, we're also... Uh, that's probably about four-fifths. Four-fifths is a bottle of Ivanka Bitch. You know what? Even when I'm sober, Ivanka I'm Ivanka honest bitch. as hell. I don't know how to... That's fair. That's cool. I, I, I appreciate that. But anyway, it's like, could you imagine being a dude working in that industry? Right? Hello, my name's Harold. Well, like, <laughs> well, it's like, the funny thing is, it's Harold, like... Harold, nobody... She would hang right the fuck up. No, it's gotta be Harry. Hello, my name is Guillermo. Okay, that would get you a lot further. I'm just that would, yeah. So save that one for tonight. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. No. Well, preach. This is the last time we're going to have a co host on this show. <laughs> Shit, I'm a regular. Fuck you. All right, so. <laughs> But no, so, I'm the original three, bitch. I mean, could you imagine, though? Just like, because it's out of... What I imagine that being, right, is you go into work, you're dressed up in, like, suit and tie. Probably not. But, like... <laughs> no, you're, like, in a t-shirt and khaki pants. Center, like, like, well, it's like, yeah, well, like, this is in my head, I right? used to be a fucking so, janitor at an AT&T console, call center, and <laughs> they did not show up in a suit and tie. They showed up in, like, some broken-ass, goodwill wrinkle bullshit. Good. <laughs> Have you ever worked in a call center? No, mm. I haven't. I've worked in a few. I refuse to. I worked at one Actually, selling magazines. Actually, it's a good job. If I had to take a shit job again... Ugh, I thought you were about to stop after shit. No. If I was, if I was going to take a shit, it would be at a call center. If I had to take a shit <laughs> job again. Like, if I lost my job and my life was really just going down the shitter... I would totally go for call center again. Salum. I mean, honestly, <laughs> it's not bad. You get a paid to job. sit on your ass and talk to people. Like, yeah, I mean, a job's chill. a job, but so, I mean, also depending on the place that you're at. Um, yeah, I guess call centers matters. are meant to take the brunt of the fire. You yeah, know? like it depends on what you're what you're doing. Though. Well, I mean, like, yeah, imagine, I've done like, several if things. You're customer so. service, it's one thing, but if you're like what I was doing. At Mountain Area Communications, I can openly say their name because they are no longer around. Uh, That's, that goes for a couple of the ones I work for here. Because hey. they called people to offer them a $100 or more gift card if they signed up for a year of magazines, such as Good Housekeeping, things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did they charge for the magazine? I think it was like twenty bucks, but I'd buy it. The thing is, twenty bucks for a hundred dollar Walmart card sold. That's was it a year? Crackhead was prices. it a year? Like subscription? I, yes. That's so bad. I worked for there for a and a hundred dollar Walmart card. Shit. Are you sure they're out of business? Well, yeah. I mean, because I'm going to call them. Well, let's be real. <laughs> With a, that deal, yeah, they're out of business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for a, I worked there for about a week until oh, I hit. That's somebody. all of his jobs, by the way. If you don't know yet. So we'll get, he's we'll worked at that. forty jobs and he's been at all of them for about a week. Experience, right? So, <laughs> I called somebody whose house was little, literally burning to the ground in front of them. That's what made me get out of the call center game. Yeah, no, that would that would do it for me. I for was sure. like, and then I tried to talk the guy through how to get the hundred dollar Walmart gift card because I felt bad for him. I was like, look, just tell him you're going to take the magazine. Don't give him a credit card number, and like. <laughs> 
I mean, yeah. I would do that too. It's like, at least you know you get the $100 gift card. And have your <laughs> wife call, and then maybe y'all can get like three outfits. Hey, girl. <laughs> if you're only getting three out trampoline from Walmart, you have a problem. Yo, yeah. so I mean. I'm like, talking about three full outfits, man. Do the we have. are like 20 bucks. Yeah, fair. Do we have another topic? <laughs> Yo, Would don't go that, that close to the mic. Yeah, thank you. Yo, oh. that hurt my feelings. What do, you, okay, so what do we got? Where <laughs> are we going? We were we'll supposed go. to like segue well, like, so, I mean, like, seamlessly we were, into something else. Well, no. I mean, we were in 90s. 90s cartoons, right? And we ended Let's up going to like 90s lava... shows, though. Like, not animated. Like Full House? I mean, we could do Full House. I, I would suggest no. Sweet hat. <laughs> In but the it's eyes like... of a ranger or a pawn. I mean, that's fair. We could do that. We could talk about <laughs> Walker, Texas Ranger if you want. Oh, I didn't My know mom that. watched the living shit out of that show. That's the only way I know about it. I met him. <laughs> I mean, actually, I met Chuck Norris. He went to my church. Shut the fuck so, up. Well, not really just now, but yeah. A buddy of mine at the space actually knew him because he accidentally... <laughs> I could tell him. by the way you just put that in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not religious. God, God is not here. <laughs> so you were Catholic? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was actually a priest. And, uh, wow. Oh, okay. Five dollar foot long. <laughs> Um, yo, but I mean, no. I as far like, as like '90s television show, I don't know. I loved Roseanne. Well, yeah. Roseanne was great. You were, hat and fun. she was definitely my favorite. And I hate she that great. the new one got totally fucked over. But I mean, that was kind of also her own fault. Well, no, I'm not saying it wasn't. She even but it was, but she didn't we're talking know that about person one person. Was a different okay, well, let's say, let's That's talk fair. about two different things. For one, it was only her and no one else, so everybody else got fucked over in that situation. But for two, absolutely true. She said she thought the chick was white and. To be honest, when I first saw her, I thought she was white too. Well, I mean, I thought that it was just she was just going to be off the show. From what they I from what have. I first understood, they should have just like I don't know what the answer is. Maybe I mean, just like, apologize and move on with your life. I don't the, know. There's no apologizing. In this, I think. In today. I mean, I feel like so. kind of. I mean, I don't know. I've said and done dumb shit, and I've been able to get away with it. Of course, That's I'm fair. not like a millionaire. So, so. nobody <laughs> yeah. here, uh, you know. What is up with every time I look over your way, you're wearing a different hat? <laughs> Where did that what one is even happening come from? Right now, it like, was I'm, underneath that one. What are you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought he went over that way, and I was like, "Where the fuck?" Because I thought there was only two hats. Okay, no, there were three. Go. One's on the floor now, is and this then an Indiana Jones hat. No, it's from it the is. That's Bell. that's an Indiana Jones hat. You should definitely put that on. So our company yeah, believes... he won't wear it because of that. I'm like, you could take that off. Aww. I can. Howdy, partner. <laughs> no. Nope. No, that's more, more like Jed Clampett, man. <laughs> <laughs> Switch so, with me. Swap with me. He wants to wear that one. Give me that bitch. You want to wear my bolt? My my nice fedora? I mean, I have a fedora that I wore to prom in my trunk. So, I Your can safely so say that nobody <laughs> here... Dis- nobody here. <laughs> nobody here discriminates. Nobody's everybody here loves home. everybody, and I hate oh, everybody. Let's, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, if you hate them equally, then it's yes, okay. exactly. Correction: I hate everybody equally. So that's so, that's where I'm at. You know, we're going to get into dicey topics in this show, and y'all should just be prepared for that. Prepared. I, <laughs> prepared. The alcohol is flowing. Mm. So you know, well, our family is um, our family is a mixed family. I'm not involved in this family. No. That is very You look true. like a 1930s news reporter. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> you see, yeah. yeah. Extra, extra. <laughs> or it's like they, they put a Y at the end of every word. Mr. <laughs> Jameson. Hey, <laughs> you want a Jameson here? No, I, can't, I can't do it. Fuck you it. tried. I tried. No, I didn't even, I didn't even really Jameson. try. I drunk tried. That's Well, that's, that's all we can expect. Yeah. That's half-assed. Yeah. Well. Uh, I'm being I'm requested a, to bartend again. Uh, it's getting worse and worse. I'm going to tap out. You're good. I'm going to tap out. Mm-hmm. I'm also out of beer, though. There might be more. I'm upset. But I'm not going to. There is not. Okay, you're There's fucked. no more Does, beer. You want to drive to the store and get some? <laughs> and during the middle of the podcast? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, that's <laughs> happening, actually, so seriously. So, okay. I'll, I'll coast off the you know, I'll coast uh, off the high for now. You're it's good. You're Nicole fun. and I have... Uh, I They're my stepchildren. And they're her full-blooded children, obviously. Full-blooded? What does that even mean? That sounds, that like a sounds worse thing. than what? anything I've are heard. Are you a werewolf? Our kids are werewolves. <laughs> mm. No, honestly, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a sidetrack. That's very awesome that you did that. Because not a lot of people do that. 
Well, do you know, outside? here's the thing. Take in, like, stepchildren and love them as their own, in a way. You know, I don't You guys it, have, I've seen here's the, the relationship so far. I've only been here for, what, two hours now? <laughs> I've only, I've seen, I've seen the way you talk to them. That's a, that's a, that's a parent-kid relationship no matter what. And, like, that, that's the thing. Fair. You know, I don't look at it as that I took them on. They took me on. That's fair. They've changed me in ways that I can I never. Roll. Are you about to cry? No, I'm wrong. Do you need a fan? <laughs> but you know, he's over I, here with some I got very, bullshit. very lucky when I met Dan or Nicole. Fuck it. <laughs> your, your name is your name is Dan. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, so everybody, instead of Nicole, her name is actually Dan. We're just oh, that's we're just how it, a lot. <laughs> you know, that's honestly, how it we'll is. We'll go into a little history on this. We met online. We met on dun, dun, dun. Uh, what plenty, plenty of fish. A plenty of fish. Wow. Okay. P-O-F. I did a. I did a. Okay, Cupid. Which is a bang and go website. Okay, Cupid. Not more than Tinder. Tinder. Uh, Tinder's turning. Trying to turn more into an actual dating site, and it doesn't so, work. So Tinder and Match. dot com are like equals. No. Uh, no, because you pay for Match. Yeah. Right. You you pay, you have to pay for match, right? So, for Tinder, you can do free or otherwise. Same with uh, well, Plenty of Fish P-O-F. and OK so, Cupid. Okay, so but P-O-F P-O-F good. I guess OK Cupid. POF didn't change at all. I've been on POF since two thousand. Get ready for depression. Oh, oh wow, two thousand six. What a You're loser! You're old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was before they had paid subscriptions. Back when dinosaurs roamed the earth, and OK Cupid was first on the scene. Not the mama. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so anyway. Anywho. We did meet on POF. It was a... Does, do you know anything about how our relationship progressed? No, I don't. This so, is actually... This is gonna be experience. Su- this is going to be super interesting for you, so learning buckle experience. up, Buttercup. Whoa. Buckle I've never up. been called Buttercup. Well, I will continue well, to do that then. <laughs> if you're a horse, then it's completely appropriate. <laughs> only, only if you feed me oats. Uh, actually, do you have uh, I believe these have oats in them. Um... Yes. And it's Probably like ingredient basic four. bitch flavor. Pumpkin so. spice? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you some pumpkin spice oats, buttercup. Let's do no. this. Okay. Huh. Right. So anyway, <laughs> um, so we met on POF and we talked for a few days and then we decided that we were going to like meet in person. And so Ew. he's a cheap ass. And so we met at um, Starbucks and then went to the park. Classic. Starbucks is the, is the You know what? Park. I actually became to the point... I, I don't let dudes pay for first dates, or at least I try not to. And um, I mean that's fair. I mean we're both people, right? So I mean yeah, that's totally fair. I mean like I'm I was raised. I'm gonna I'm interject real quick. I am I am a gentleman, and I totally. I have not seen that yet. I've. I'm gonna keep my eyes out though. Go ahead. I feel <laughs> insulted. <laughs> I'm just messing. No, up. so I'm not. Again. <clears throat> um, no, so I mean, like, I, I totally believe in play, paying for the first date, and I totally believe in like opening doors and things like that, and I, that's just how I was raised because I was I was raised with the southern hospitality stuff. Well, like. the town you were raised in. Yeah, I mean, I'm yo, sure. okay, so I'm gonna keep bringing that up because you know. I, I mean, can't. I'm not proud of it. I didn't have a say in I'm it. I'm not saying you shouldn't be proud of it. I mean, I would be happy to grow up in the bubble. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. But I mean, like, I mean, it's not like I had to say in it. Well, I don't but I mean, like, my it's it's not so much the. Wait area till I, I tell you where I went. I'm not gonna say it on here, but you know. Of course not. Yeah, but I mean, no, I mean, it's it wasn't so much that the area I was raised in. It was more my parents did a good job, and like I I know how to respect everyone as long as they deserve it. You know, like no, respect is fair. a respect oh, is yeah. a real thing. I uh, my parents were. Yep. Yeah, his bringing up <laughs> yeah. is very different. Um, probably quite That's the fair. exact opposite of yours. That is totally fair. <laughs> and so, Loving and encouraging were not words that I was used to. Oh, I wasn't encouraged. I was slapped. <laughs> Well, see, uh, that's the, that's the baseball thing. bat. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, that's is that level. why you have twenty five of them? <clears throat> you can't get off. Them? Oh, I'm just kidding. Past conversation. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll finish that one later. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll finish that up. But I mean, like, no, I was like, I was raised, you know, I was raised to have that certain level of respect for women and everybody who deserved it. You know, right, I mean, right. like, it's not so much of a. Uh, it's not so much of a gained thing as much as you just like you have to earn it, sort of right. thing. So I, I mean, can say my well, I, I guess you start with it learning. at an extent, right? You start with a base level, 
Absolutely. I mean, like, and then, I, and then you can either build upon it or you can break it away. I mean, absolutely. That's, that's yeah. So I mean, like, so like in in retail, I'm I'm a manager of a of a retail store right now. So I'm not going to get too deep into that. <laughs> but you know, I'm a, I'm a manager of a retail establishment, and so it's like with everybody in general. Like, I try. Do you like games? Uh, Wow. <laughs> let's let's not go there. So, um, but yes, I do. Um, and I mean, like, you know, with that, I give, you know, I give everybody that walks into my store um, a higher level of respect than they deserve because that's just what I believe in as far as at least customer service. Well, that's service. the way it should yeah. be when yeah. it comes to customer service. Because I mean, even when they're an asshole, you still maintain your integrity? Absolutely. And I mean, like, <clears throat> at, but I mean, still, it's like even when they are an asshole, I still have ways that I can kind of be an asshole back. Yeah, but and you do it passive it, aggressively. Yes, and I feel like I'm a little uh, catty you for didn't doing get it. The warranty. <laughs> 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 like I'm not gonna ask you to renew your warranty. ha <laughs> ha! I gave you the scratched one. No, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no shit, I've done that. I've done that. Oh, you're a cut. You're getting. <laughs> <laughs> There is a better option, but you're not going to get that. Without one. outright saying it, I've done that shit, and yeah. it was you know it's 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 a certain human nature, of, completely absolutely. human nature. Yeah. Well, I mean, like around around here, the, there's a weird, it's a weird fifty fifty. It's like either they don't give a shit about what you. What you saying about our area? <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> That's not joke. But no, so it's like I mean, there's a weird like fifty fifty. It's either like they don't give a flying fuck about you, or they they absolutely respect you. Well, and it's the ones that absolutely respect you are the ones that you have the most fun with because you can actually have genuine conversation, which is actually how I met you and how I met you through, you know, retrospect. So, I mean, it's like, it's a very interesting dynamic here, whereas in where I was, my old store um, was very much just they didn't care because they had the money to not care. And I hated that. Well, and it was just a different thing. The thing is, area... Was that the it, city you live in? Yeah, that was the city I was okay. raised in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, area has an awful lot to do with a lot of things like that. Absolutely. I mean, even, even when you're talking about 20 miles, I mean, that makes a difference. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. it does. Especially out in this area. You know, 30 miles. If I drove. Well, I was over, thinking of where you are now. You know, if I drove uh, over the border to Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. From, so you from, live south. From, yeah. where, okay. from where I'm at, yeah. You're south, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. If I drove over the border to Oklahoma, a lot of people there. We're in Texas, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> We can get that general with it, but yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to go any further than that. <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> but, you know, people's attitudes, people's demeanors change oh, yeah. depending on your area. I had a friend today tell me that when he was stopped over in Oklahoma for the weekend, he woke up on a Sunday trying to get gas for his motorcycle. And the whole town was shut down, but he did notice there was 18 check cash in places within two miles of each other. So, that just gives you a little bit of, you know, it tells you about how those people are. I mean, a lot of people don't have businesses. They don't notice anything like that. Yeah. I don't know where you're going with this, but I want to get back to my story. Okay. Oh, we did sidetrack a lot. I am so sorry. No, you're such a jerk. Okay. So, you you love me. Don't give me that. No, that's cool. So, um, basically, we met online. We went on a date. And so I got to the point, actually dating, where I don't want to go to dinner because I feel like that's too much of a commitment. That's right. Because you have to, like, wait for the food and wait and wait. And, you know what I mean? That's right. And so you're at least stuck with that person for an God hour versus if you... Again. Hey, I'm talking. God damn it. So, <laughs> Stop! I feel, like one, I feel like this one was all bad ones. <laughs> that's what I got, so that must be the, the adjacent. So anyway... It's just bad luck. It's, it's sweet and no, fair. So true. It's okay. That's so true. <laughs> I mean, anyway. you, found, you found him, though. So, I mean... Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) That face. All right. Anywho, I have varying views, but we can go on then. Well, I I will just say that I got to the point where I just like to do like a coffee or something. That way, you grab your drink ahead of time, and at any moment, you could just be like, fuck this, I'm out. And you're not stuck, you know, based on someone else's. um, But you didn't do that with him. Well, we did do coffee. Patrick, can you just give that up for now, please? (laughs) Yeah, I'm so serious right Dude, now. I feel like you've thrown that on the ground like, on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like at a different angle and he keeps messing with it. No, that's so, fair. Anyway. It is a very like steep angle. Anyway. Yeah. So we went for coffee and then we went to a park and we walked and it was cold at that time. And there it was, was ice. Winter. <laughs> yeah, kind of. 
Um, I'm odd. I'm sorry. It was Texas winter, if, if you want to call it that. So it was like so 65. Sli- <laughs> no, it slightly was slightly nippy. <laughs> no, it was actually, you know, the three days a year that we had ice. Oh, so oh wait, like when when was this? When you? It was in January of 2017. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. What does that mean? Oh. So anyway. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> um. <clears throat> so anyway. Anywho. And then um, he weaseled his way back to my apartment. Uh, there's a story behind this. Um, but so we're not going to go into it because it's a long story. But anyway. Yeah, I was like, can we not? <laughs> no, no, nothing happened. Oh, okay, like, okay. No. Cool. I'm not getting into that. Um, so he came back to my apartment and we watched Roku. Anyway. Um, then the next Fair. day, he I mean, he left at like really late. What time did you leave? Maybe 1 a.m.? Mm, or yes. no, maybe midnight. I don't know. Somewhere. And um, he ended up contacting me the next day, and we hung out the next day, and the next, and the next, and we ended up hanging out every single day. What? And he moved in with me three weeks after we met. Wow. Yeah. You guys spared no time. We did not. And then, nine weeks later, we got married. Wow. All right. So we were only together for 12 weeks before we got married. (laughs) But sometimes, you know, every couple is But we spent every single day together. So... If you do the math on how many dates we went on, I mean, right. we were on par with that. Like, Oh, yeah, no, totally for sure. Because, I mean, like, you know, most of the time it's, you know, a couple of dates. Two a week at the most? At most, yeah. Usually it's, like, one a week. I like, would say six a month we for, like, an average. That's probably together. fair. Yeah, but so we, were, I mean, we were, like, 30 a month. So we were yeah. five times the pace of anybody else. Right. Well, it's So like, when it's, you factor all that in, oh, yeah, it no, made a little more sure. sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, as Patrick's brought up, you know, it's like, every couple's different. So it's like, sometimes you just, you just know. It was yeah. very different. I mean, neither one of us had been married, and we were uh, both what, average of 30 years old. <laughs> On average. We weren't an desperate. Of- <laughs> 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 weren't desperate even a okay. little. Okay, we, we might have been desperate. No, I'm just kidding. I, I wasn't desperate. I wasn't looking for marriage at all on any level. He doesn't want to. Yo. It's, I'll do. Much. I'll, I'll I mean, do. We, okay. can, we can do like half shots. You're going to end it up. Okay. Really. Half. Are we, are we, at, a, are we at another 20 minute mark? Are we at 40? Yeah. Oh, well. What does that say? Because we like stopped it. Oh, well, yeah, because we had to do that weird thing. Somebody doesn't yeah, have it. Because I'm an idiot and I didn't look at point. things. Ah, so long! So, long. so anyway. I'm going to clink myself. Here, I'll clink you. Hey. <laughs> oh, it is so bad. Shot! Shot! Oh, shot! So shot. <laughs> Yo, you good? That was not a great sound. <laughs> you're so okay. you dead, man. I almost barked. <laughs> Please no. Oh my God. If you don't stop right now. <laughs> so we're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and um. Oh, we ain't. No, so any, so anyway, oh, um, to um, to go back to your original point. So like you were saying that you know you prefer the coffee shop thing. You prefer the coffee shop. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like in and out, no problem. You know, no. Right, you get there, you run up and get your coffee. Right. And then you're not waiting on... You can just bail. Yeah, it's all up to your discretion. You're not waiting on someone to bring you something. Right, of course. And I mean, I I, told, I, I see where you're coming from. Mm-hmm. And I totally, like, I see that point of view. I'm more of the, you know, let's do dinner. Let's have that set amount of time to, you know, get to know each other. What because, if you don't want to get to know this person? Well, I mean... I feel like there's got to be a polite way to bail on a date. Like I had so many. Oh my god, I have diarrhea. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, God, I left my cat in the oven again. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, I set fire to my heart. I feel like men, and and correct me if I'm wrong on on your point of view because I know his, but I feel like men are stood up a lot more than women. It seems to be that way. I mean, so have you had? I've, that's up. never happened to me. <gasps> that has never happened to me because I'm, like I'm the first I've ever spoken. I'm to very ever. selective with who I decide to um, go out with, and I mean, I, I He's always like, talk. yeah, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I you mean, you gotta be very selective. Like in today's day and age, like you I've have been to hurt have that. So many times but how many? How long would you talk to somebody? Have you have you met people online first of all? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's like I had a I had a relationship that lasted for 
Excuse me, goodness, we're drunk. And yeah. um, I Ignore had a, the sounds in the background. I am inebriate. I, I am inebriate. No, so I mean, I was in a relationship for two years, and I met her online. I met her through OkCupid. See, um, I I never thought of OkCupid as dating. No, material. I've no, met see, a couple of interesting people on OkCupid. And I mean, I will like say. sometimes it just happens. Like so, like there there's been a couple of girls that I've talked to because I'm straight. And so, I, <laughs> hey, you're married. That's not a problem. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't I implying anything. But no. I, I was just saying. Totally that. understood. Okay. Yeah, no. So, I mean, no. <laughs> um, I mean, I've met a couple girls that I've talked to that I've really liked. And, I mean, it, they just decided to go another way. Totally fine. We're all adults. We can handle it. And so, that looks amazing. It's can we words. not pull up can random photos make? of cake? Yo. We don't have that you guys want to drive to Walmart and get some cake mix? Can we bring yeah. the mic? <laughs> but no, so like... So I have a hotspot on my phone. Quit. Uh, that might kill your data plan. Unless you I, have, I have pretty unlimited data. That's fair. He's on but his anyway. mom's plan. I Dude, pay my own bill. <laughs> I mean, I'm 24, so. I mean, my mom lives with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I don't live with her. She lives with me. I just, my I, I just live in the basement to help is, her out. Is that what's behind the door? No. <laughs> yeah, really. Mom. But I mean, so There's anyway. no way you would not hear his mother. That's okay, oh, oh. No, so anyway. So I shot like, her around the world. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I sorry, mean, go ahead. I've met girls that I've liked, and we've talked, and all that stuff. But, I mean, like, uh, most recently I've had a relationship for... I w- a few months ago, I got out of a relationship that I've had for two years mm-hmm. that I met online. And, I mean, it's one of those things where you just kind of have to... For guys, it's a lot different of an experience for online dating than you it is for... Oh, yeah, absolutely. It is, well, because women it's a lot harder, it's it's a lot harder you know, to so, get a reply. Okay, yes. you, I, and I'm going to tell you why. Because, as a woman, you... you my first day on an online site, on mm-hmm. a dating site, because when you're new, it shows that you're She's new, so you're moved to the one. top. You get like 40, I mean, someone who looks like me gets like 40 messages the first day, so I can't imagine what somebody who's really hot gets. You look amazing. <sighs> to you. But anyway, I'm just wow. saying. Wow. I'm in love with the mic. <laughs> <laughs> this is No, but this I'm, being, is I'm being honest. I mean, I, the first day I'm getting like 40 messages, and every day That's I'm true. getting 30 and 20 and a, and you can tell when you look at them that they're Fucking literally spoiled milk again. <laughs> and you can tell when you look at them that they're literally cut and paste, like oh, yeah. copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Well, the... and that is annoying because it's like, do you have any genuine interest or not? So I would put something in there like if you. If someone didn't read my profile... If you're not a fucking tool... Like, if you can't read three paragraphs, then yeah. you're not really interested in me. No, absolutely. And I mean, um, that's... And that's why you don't get replies. Ex- well, okay, so that's that's where I fall in. Because I, I would like to uh, <laughs> to brag and say that I'm not a normal dude. There's a lot of guys out there that kind of bring the name of guy down, <laughs> I guess. Well, I'm not a man-hater by any means. No, but I mean, there's a lot of reason if to be like a man-hater. Yeah, put a ring on <laughs> There's a lot of be- reason to be a man hater because of the guys that I'm talking about right now. Where it's like I know I know somebody right now who they went out with a date on some guy. Call him out. What's their name? No, just kidding. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not naming. No, I'm kidding. To burn them. <laughs> I'm not naming names. I'm not doing. I'm any totally joking. But go ahead. But basically, like on the date with him, um, he. Oh my god. He is going in. All in. Hands. I know, and this shit's sticky for some reason, and so my hands are sticky. Because it's not like the sugar content of eight donuts. Is, is that it? why it tastes like garbage? Ugh. Sugary? No... Okay. We're taking a sidetrack. Pro tip. That's not Don't drink sugary drinks. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. You can finish that up. Do it, honey. Do it. The bottom the of the bottle drink. is the worst. Oh, like Hercules. <laughs> Every last drop. Okay. Ah shit, we didn't give one. <laughs> I'm so sticky. That's disturbing. Giggity. Okay. Anyhow. Oh, gross. Okay. Ugh. So no, like I know a girl now who uh, went on a date. <laughs> and uh, aside Are you dating from the, said girl? Mm, we're not gonna go into that. Okay. So, so sorry, um, my two, bad. Too too personal for episode one. And okay, um, that's fine. so I mean like. She, I mean, I just told my whole love story, but whatever. <laughs> I am younger than you. <laughs> you are married. I am not. And so, um, she went out with a... Uh, Ooh, coconut. <laughs> Can you stop yelling flavors? It's weird. 
Hulk and die! <laughs> <laughs> so, um... He, Boys she, zest! <laughs> Poisonberry. Oh, uh, she went on. A, she went on a date with some with some like dude, bro. Like one of those guys. You know? Driving on the town like who? Shush. Shush. You're too drunk to hang. Shush. Right. <laughs> but like she, like he was acting like a total tool. Um, I just wanted to make sure that was you. Flirting with the. Uh, <laughs> Flirting with the uh, flirting with like the waitresses and like all the other girls in the in the in the restaurant, all that stuff like that. And she recently told me about it, and I was just like, "Yeah, that's I wouldn't do that even a little bit, like not even a little bit, because there's just some people out there that kind of give the name of man a bad name, and that was one of them. Yeah. And uh, it's like I would, like I was raised to respect women. That is who I am, and it's like. <laughs> As drunkenly as I can put that. Okay, question. Were you raised by both of your parents? Yes, by both of them. And they're still married? Correct. They well, are. look at you. Yeah. I well, it's like, a product I'm so of lucky. divorce. Well, so my mom How many is times from... did your mom divorce your dad twice? Mm-hmm. The and same dad? <laughs> <laughs> so and my parents another man, were married for she's been approximately times. ten years and then got you divorced speak that way? and then got... Remarried and then and divorced again. again, and then she, she married remarried. some guy that she found on a one ad, Ugh. and then we moved into his house from the battered woman shelter, and then we lived with him for ten years, eleven years, and then one day they showed up at my school and said, "Come on, we're kicking it. your stepdad out of the house." With and when some he dude says they, yeah, it was his mom and some guy he didn't know. Oh wow! Picked him up from school and like. Hey, we're gonna go kick your stepdad out. I'm gonna go and out. now he's her. He's his stepdad now. I wish that was an option when I was in school. Even if my parents just like faked it, it was just like, to get you out of school. Yeah, yeah, but to kick out the man who I don't know. Not like legitimately. No, I mean no, no, no not totally not legitimately. So he has like the perfect well, so, childhood story. It, oh it's yeah, for really sure. Really enough to make you cry. Well, it's <laughs> like actually the best thing that I've done. It's like so I'm allergic to bees. And <gasps> me too. Right? No and one so, ever believes me. Do they believe you? Uh, fairly. Oh, Do no. you have an EpiPen? Uh, I did until they got super But if you expensive. don't have an EpiPen, people don't take you seriously. Yeah. It's bullshit. But I mean, like, where am I going to... I'm like, do I need, like, a $300 device to prove that I'm allergic to something? Go I fuck don't... yourself. Yeah, no, I mean, like, I already have a grandma's bag of medicine that I have to carry around. I'm not going to carry in a $4,000 EpiPen <laughs> in there as well. It's like going up, like, Wait, $4 million EpiPen 4, now. <laughs> Every time EpiPen we say EpiPen, only... we have to say it's $40 million. I mean, yeah, no, $400 million. No, my first one was I only, like, 100 or so. Um, I'm just talking uh, shit. They're, like, 300 now, 400 something like that. Yeah, but something like that. I mean, They've like, really gone up in price since cool. whoever yeah. the fuck bought them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so but I mean, that's like, political. But I mean, like, anyway, the best way I got out of school is, like, uh, the reason I found out that I'm allergic to bees is because I got stung in, like, dead center of the middle. <gasps> you say bro. beans that's or bees? It was bees. Bees. He's allergic to bees just like me. We're both allergic to bees. I would not be eating bees if I was allergic to bees. <laughs> <laughs> jelly bees. And it would have to be... A- <laughs> <laughs> Too fucking shay. All right, so... <laughs> it's like, I got, uh, we, were, we were in gym. We were just hanging out in the football field, and What's I got stung. Gym? A Shut gem? <laughs> Gem. No, I was like, I got, st- I got stung like right above my Adam's apple, like before I had. Hang on, Adam's where's apple. your Adam's apple? I don't see it. I'm, I'm fat. So okay, you- <laughs> I see, it. I see it a little bit. I see it. Yeah, you're outlining it. That's great. Okay. And so, like, I got. Uh, it might have been like right. No, he's I'm done, done, and there's no more. No, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, you brought no, more. you're not done. I am done. I have to drive. <laughs> you have a few hours. Like, you dude, have to have a few hours at this dude, point. Dude, anyway, really? I'll be fine. But it's so it's like I got wow. stung like right either right above or right below. I love you, Patrick. You're my friend. <laughs> and um, I was like, I got stung on the neck by a bee. And so I went to the nurse's office, and she was like, do you feel your, like, your throat closing up or anything? Like, you're like, normal, like, it's like... Scary-ass questions. Normal kinda nurse do. danger. <laughs> it's like, you know, I kind of do. And then I kind of, like, felt all woozy, and I kind of passed out. <gasps> Yeah, it was fun. And uh, when I woke up, there were like four or five like hunky paramedic dudes just like. And that's when you realized you were gay. (laughs) (laughs) That's when the rainbows came. And um, well, you didn't have to describe them as hunky. (laughs) Okay. I feel like that was a gay response. I'm straight. (laughs) They were fine. All right. (laughs) And so, why are all firemen hot as fuck? They just are, right? 
mean, like even if they're even if they look like a hobbit out of the fire. Oh, mask, I know. Put that shit on, and it's like, yeah. Well, because they're they're more ripped than anyone I've ever known. <laughs> and like they're carrying fat people, really and they wear them. like three sizes too small, like f like whatever. Uh, fire department they're at. It's like it's just you're like, like rubbing so yourself a lot right now. <laughs> it's my shoulder. It's my shoulder. There's but a it's lot like, of self touching. There's a lot of self touching. I have to drive the point home. But yeah, no. So I, like they just they just are. I'm straight and they're they're attractive. I feel like any good mark of a uh, sounds like bi curious. Eh, That's fine. No. Do do your thing, man. Well, I mean, like, I feel like any mark of a true man is like if you can appreciate the the handsomeness of another dude. Well, yeah. You well, can, I mean, I can appreciate the beauty of, people, of another okay. woman, obviously. So let's be fair. In the area we all live in, correct. Don't well, be <laughs> very daunted on, like, you know, oh, absolutely. You, yeah. Well, not the area he lives in. I mean, literally thirty miles away. There's a whole different world. That's where gay comes from. <laughs> let's be real here. No, All I mean the fairies live underground there. No, no shit though. There is a there is a there is a gentleman, a very interesting gentleman, who has a flat earth like Oh car. my gosh. Can we like have him drive off the edge please? Because he's annoying as fuck. Well, he has a car and a guy truck and a house. Have you seen the house if, and the truck? I haven't I haven't seen the house and the truck, but there there's all of it. It's all there. I mean like he parks he parked it out um on like on one of the main roads. He parks for on Google the... for Google Maps. Yeah, and he he legit. And he's constantly at the square. Uh huh. Yeah, constantly, constantly, his in, constantly at City Square. The well, it's like fuck. I know where he lives though. No, if you've seen the house, it's got it all over. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. And like, here's the I... best part. Okay, this guy has flat Earth shit. God damn, a spoiled milk again. <laughs> Shut up. Speed <laughs> all over all of his windows. In I like think that's that actually funny because that's shop, the shit. fifth spoiled milk. I don't mean to interrupt you, but that's the fifth spoiled milk. But he's just sitting over there eating these bean boozled beans. And he's just like, fuck, spoiled milk. Fuck, spoiled milk. <laughs> like, just like over and over and over again. I'm going to fucking trip him next time he Cat me. Cat sprays on the t-shirts. He's sitting down. How are you going to trip him? I said next time he goes by me. Oh, okay. Sorry. Listen to I'm not gonna jog the I'm paying attention for more liquor. But yeah, yeah no, like that dude's house, like it's completely but loaded. Here's out. the best part, he's got it written all over the windows. Yeah, absolutely. Flat earth, flat earth, flat earth. And then guess what did you see what he has right in the middle of his front yard? I didn't see that part. It is a globe. <laughs> <laughs> a round as fuck globe in his front yard as he spews about flat earth no, and I'm my, like wait what my, my, <laughs> favorite, what? my favorite thing <laughs> he could have painted a plate like. no it's, it's like one of the facebook like actual um, fish. can you stop yelling the flavors it's We're one good. of the one of the actual like pages for flat earth was like their their tagline was uh, members all around the globe, and you're like around or like <laughs> and like I've seen I've seen a, a randomly comments. situated. And I've seen um, yeah I've seen not multiple even the comments the globe, yeah. on it saying I personally believe flat earth was created as a farce. Oh, I feel like it was. Yeah, and I feel like those people that are really hardcore, like those people specifically um, in the town you live in, are to die <laughs> in my town. Well. Well, I don't want to say yes, it out loud, but <laughs> I don't think they really believe it. I think it's no. I think it's all think just it's, a popularity thing right, at that point. You right. know, it's like everyone. Everybody knows who they are because yeah. of that. I mean, that there are certain people that do probably hardcore believe in it, but a lot of other people are just like, eh, it's it's an Earth. <laughs> it's like this is where we live. They're like, why can't like, you see the curve? Well, it's fucking can, huge, you idiot. Well, yeah. you can't actually see the curve if, if you, you go, go out on enough. the ocean. Yeah, if you go out on the ocean, or if you go up high enough. Yeah, you know, it's like it's just one of those things, and I mean, I'm not. I mean, I believe the the world is a globe because uh, if if you think about it, though, because NASA said, because NASA said, no, I mean, like if you look at everything else, literally everything else, and this has been brought up many, many times, where every other planet that we have, that was a dog food or a pudding one, and they both and taste that shitty. kills me. I'm having withdrawal. I'm having drawbacks to that. That's not okay. Was it the dog food one? How you doing, champ? Yeah. <laughs> but it's like a chocolate lot of pudding. The, oh, chocolate pudding! You son of a bitch! But <laughs> every other. How planet, do you know my mother? 
<laughs> <laughs> I think we just went over that, didn't we? Oh, not quite. We I mean, we scratch the surface. We, oh, we, we could do like something. three episodes on the history. <laughs> we should though. Patrick's mom, one, two, and three. Um, Let's just put it this way: Patrick gets hate mail on Facebook because of his mother. Oof. Just from cell sites alone. Oof. But we'll talk about that off off the. Uh, we'll deal with that. Yeah. In, in, <laughs> in, in, in that my later. therapy is paying later. off well. <laughs> <laughs> That's <funny. laughs> but no, it's like I mean, one one of the big things with the uh, yeah that doorknob is killing you. Um, Just sit up like a human, and you'll be fine. I am a human, Moo. He's too drunk. Moo. <laughs> He's too drunk. Um, Meow. No, we have... There's uh, nothing. There's nothing. I brought vodka. You're bad. We have we have <laughs> evidence, and that none that they, you know... Um, oh, what is, what is the correct? What's the time right now? Um, 8.46? No, I mean, not, not that time. I don't know. I, How long I have we like been on been this? Going for more I don't know. There's no... I mean, we could just keep Are we going. just talking for no reason? Like, yeah. is it not even recording right now? No, it's... We're, we're all having I fun. I highly so believe it's not recording. I think... No, it's recording, I promise. Are How we going to have, like, a four-hour you... podcast? Because no one's going to listen to it. How can you... I mean, no one's going to listen to it anyway, but especially... Look, if people can listen to Night Vale, they'll listen to this. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know either, actually. <clears throat> it's a four popular podcast. Oh, okay. It's about okay. a fictional town. Oh, well, we're better than that. <laughs> Drunken I mean, rambles. No, but yeah. <laughs> I, I like, by the way, dude, 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 dude. just a quick <laughs> what is that interjection that you're doing. Uh, everybody like drunken rambles? I mean, I'm having a good time. I don't give a fuck. We've gone to so many different categories. We started off with... But okay. we're jumping around like we're visiting each one like four times. Well, okay, so I mean, let's let's see where we started, right? Our first thing was introductions. Introductions. Interjections. <laughs> Interjections. <laughs> and then we Josh went to and 90s animations. Look where we're at now. We're at Flat Earth. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're all having we a good time. We've evolved. <clears throat> I think we're all having a good time. I am. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Look You're at also you, Cthulhu. Cthulhu. I can't believe four. Four of them, yeah. Well, uh, I had, had six. six. You had six? Did you sell them? Not he gave one to his brother and one to my daughter? Yep. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, they're cute as fuck, though. And now his nieces are calling wanting them, so he's probably going to give two of them away. Yeah, that's fair. Free Christmas presents! Did you see our llamas? I did not. We have four llamas. Next to the flop fuggle. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess I did. The fugglers, my god. All right. he, he said that was for me as a gift. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's a and he only fugger. gave it to me because he was being an asshole and it's he overspent like the at the store. It's child you had. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, no, it so has his daddy's teeth. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. No, so... Ba, 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 have you ba, seen ba, ba, the commercials ba, 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 for those? Ba, 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 I've never ba, ba, ba. heard of them until you brought one home and I was horrified. I hate ba, them bang, bang, because my company bang. sells a shit ton of them. That's where he bought it from. I don't doubt it. He bought it from you, probably. I don't. I bought it, probably it, I, bought it it from the, I didn't sell it to him. I bought it from the GameStop. And okay, really? Why would you <laughs> say that, you dumbass? <laughs> so, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't get it from where Chris works. I got it from a GameStop in Sherman, Texas. Fair enough. Why are you even going our area? <laughs> eh. I mean, Sherman, Texas is many hours away. So it's fine. Yeah, like seventeen. Yeah, not even. <laughs> I mean, to be I fair, I mean, that, it does take that long to get across Texas. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think more than that. Texas also. is the size of like four regular countries. Stop pointing. <laughs> four, re- four regular, regular countries, <laughs> states. <laughs> no <laughs> countries. I mean, yeah. think about like. Uh, well, I mean, there there is a lot of countries that are tiny, world. right? That are very tiny. Like, uh, who is it? Someone oh, in shit. Europe said they got across their state in like forty minutes. And Dude, I'm like, our a country, normal, I mean, God damn a it. normal weekend for some English people, from what I understand, is like going to Belgium. But they <laughs> travel like two or three different countries yeah. in like a couple of days. Isn't mine the one that's pushed forward more? Uh, does it matter? I mean, where does your? Never mind. I'm not gonna say that on the podcast. Solid. I mean, if it's between me and you, what's the difference? I mean, if you don't want to drink after what he's been... This is mine. Fine. This oh. one's mine. But he acts weird about us like drinking out of the same cup. I'm like, dude, we've done much worse. I'm just going to say. I mean, I would hope so. I mean, not much worse. Uh, but... uh, no, Patrick, he's done. Hmm. He's I'm done. Out. I'm out. That's fair. I'm still feeling it. He doesn't, <laughs> here. It's he doesn't want to be stuck here any longer than he has to. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> 
Not, yeah, not uh, that bad. Oh, I went that. from not bad to not that bad. I feel sad now. Uh, it's not that bad. Yeah. But I don't even remember what we were talking about. Dirty deleting. That was like an hour ago. <laughs> that wasn't even part of the podcast. Was it not? No. Oh, shit. You're right. So, dirty deleting. We should do the Urban Dictionary Word of the Day. Um. Hmm. Right? Since well, we've only had one segment so far. Bugger. <laughs> Bugger. A booger's actually not that bad. I mean, no. I don't like it, but I don't hate it either. It's like, I can tolerate. I mean, I would much prefer the, what was it, pear? Yeah. Yeah, I much prefer juicy pear, but... Okay, so we have some that are trending for today. Do you want to go with the first trending of the day? Oh, uh, let's do the top, top trend. Let's do the top three. Okay, so I'll read the top three, and then I'll go, I guess, and attempt to find them. So That's fair. There's special fried rice is number one. Ooh. Number that sounds like two a sex is Shrew. Shrew? With three O's. Shrew. All right. Okay. And number three is Goatsy. Like oh, my oh, God. Goatsy, no. Oh, no. Special, shut up. Special fried rice is a cock infection. Oh. That Did makes you have to use your, that word, though? I'm reading it directly. Oh, that I don't know. That makes your dick look like it's been dipped in special fried rice. <laughs> the male version of blue waffle disease. Why does that sound and like used in a infection. sentence. So I went down on him, and his wing was covered in special fried rice. Why would you go down on him if you oh, down on him if you saw that shit? Like, that's fucked up. Yeah, I feel like that's and a, then that's um, the flag. second. I love to read like multiple definitions. Uh, the second definition is a type of rice only eaten in Asia that contains dog. Uh, very racist, apparently. Okay, so <laughs> very racist. That's not me. That is I'm a dictionary. So, shut up! No one's gonna hear what I'm saying. Shrew is number two. Shrew. That was with three O's. Three O's. That's odd. Is an emotion expressed out of jealousy okay. combined with an evil plan of attack. What? I don't know. So, like, you. What? Hold on. Repeat that? Shrew is an emotion expressed out of jealousy How combined do you say with an evil plan of attack. So S-H-R-O-O-V-E? is that basically yes? No, no e. Just v is the plus. Um, oh no e. Shrew. So basically, it's like you got jealous because your your girl was fucking another dude, right? And then you you had a plan to beat him up. Is that what I'm like getting? Or are you actually okay? So here's a, here's a little. Give me an example. Okay. Dude, did you know Shanmuga got placed in two companies? Yo, that's racist. Man, I am so shrewd right now. <laughs> So shrewd. I don't like that one. I don't I like that little... one. Okay, so let's go back. I mean, fried rice was cool. Special fried rice. I don't agree. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. Like the name. I mean, like Not the actual like thing. I mean, I prefer that to probably what the actual like, scientific name is. But what, what about like smegma? Isn't that similar? If you were or... That's a different thing. Ones. How, how is it? Well, <laughs> you're under a dictionary. I'm not okay, gonna... well, number three is goat see? Oh, uh, and that is when a man has. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have some fun. Can you tell me when you're done with your commentary so that I can continue? No, we're both enjoying this because well, we both know what it is. So, oh, you know what it is. I do. Oh, and I know. Why don't you to. tell me the definition since you are so well versed in Urban Dictionary? Why did you give me that? Yeah, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna account. need you to do it. I'm too drunk. <laughs> Just Patrick, would you like to go? Can you give me the phone and I'll read it? <laughs> I, I'll read it in a good voice. None of you know what it is. Okay. I'll tell you what. It's when a man has so much butt sex that his okay, rectum becomes concave and oh, is actually yeah. outside the butthole itself. Oh, so it's a prolapse. Prolapsed penis. Yeah, it's like... It's really uh, prolapsed. I mean, I've seen them so bad that it looked like... I don't know, it was like this big... Wait, what do you mean you've butt. seen them so bad? <laughs> I feel like we should clarify. I feel like I absolutely no. shouldn't have said that out loud. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, we I should think probably clarify. If it was okay, well, let me clarify. Time. Y'all stop talking so I can clarify real quick. Okay. Let's play a five finger. You go. Because <laughs> I will cut a finger off. <laughs> nope. Okay. I'm good. Not on Back my table. Over. I mean, I paid 20 nope. bucks. Nope. That's my knife. <laughs> yeah, you're you're a bad boy. Yeah, but she's your wife. That's... So here's the thing. Yeah, I'll do it. You want you want to play? No. I'll play. No, because that's gonna go straight to. The <laughs> 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 so I saw a picture of a guy that was lifting weights that had that, and I thought he had dropped the weight and like cut his head off, so it was big around as a neck, but it was prolapsed. 
It was what? that big around. I thought it was his oh. shoulders and neck, but it was his legs and his butt. Anyway. That's fucked up. So, used in a sentence, wow, that sure is a big nasty goat so you got there. <laughs> Why, thank you. I love fucking in the ass. Yo, so, wait, that was a legit example? That's legit. I'm reading directly. That's a, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's just some... I don't even know how to respond. <laughs> like, circle gets the square. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cherry Creek. Let's try that one. Oh, Good. Cherry Creek High School. Who's feeling the drunkenness of the I'm, rambling? I'm feeling it. <laughs> so where, where are we at? Hey, Black bottom lady, Mr. Krabs! <laughs> I, can't. I can't. I'm too drunk to do anything. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can hear you. Aye, aye. Captain. Why do I know how to do that voice right The now? Devil's Triangle. <laughs> oh, no. Are you do still you know what that is? Are you still in her I want y'all to each guess. That makes it more fun. I think we should guess what they are. Okay. I'm down for trying. Them. Okay. Devil's Triangle. Go. Sounds like a oh, shitty God. threesome. Okay. Can't. Okay. I mean, that would that would make sense. Um... Devil's Triangle. Oh, God. I'm going to say something bad. Did, yeah, of course. I'm going to say something really bad. Yeah, do um, it. I'm going to say... <laughs> Don't die, dude. I you get? Can I get a hint? Can I get a clue? I don't even have a clue. I'm going to guess, too. Go. Um, I'm not eating that. Don't put that in my drink. Uh, I'm going to say... I don't even know. Guess. Just make a guess. Just make a guess? Fuck. Yeah. The Devil's Triangle is... Please don't be spoiled milk. It's probably spoiled milk. It's spoiled milk. <laughs> I think you just like spoiled milk. <laughs> hurry, guess. Hurry. God, I can't hurry. You go. You you do yours. I'm going to guess it's like three body parts. Like maybe like two nuts and an anus or tits and a pussy or something. I don't know. Like the taint. Maybe the taint. Okay, go. Ah, <laughs> oh, today's secret word, taint! Uh, can I opt out of this one? Nope. God damn it. I'm not good at these. Um, It's just a guess. Like, it's fun. It. I will say... <laughs> is it fun? I'm having For a me, is I'm having a great time. Dictionary. I feel like it's... I feel a, like you're urban enough to figure this out. I am not. Do it. Um, I feel like it might be... Um... I'm not creative enough for this. Um, I feel like it's going to involve three things, so go with it. It's not. Um, yeah, no, okay, let's do that. I feel like, oh shit, um, I feel <laughs> like it's a, like a three-way, right? Mm -hmm. But like, somebody has a venereal disease. Hmm. What if all three of them have a venereal disease? But they're and different? that's the devil's triangle. And they're trying to create a new, okay. Oh man, that's how the world ends. Oh, this new is totally, we're disease. so fucking wrong. Okay, you ready? For who? For all of us? All of us are wrong. Okay. What? When you're under oath and don't want to be found out that you enjoy splitting the turkey, just call it a drinking game. What the fuck is splitting a turkey? Is this you a Brent Kavanaugh use... reference? Okay, so bro one. Bro, want to take that chick to the devil's triangle? Bro, too. Nah, I prefer holding them down and covering their mouths so they can't scream. What? So it's a rape thing? Why does it sound like I don't Brent know. Kavanaugh? I'm so confused. <laughs> can someone else explain this? I don't, I don't can know. I read it? Can Absolutely. I you can touch it. Can I get context? When you're under oath and you don't want to be found out that you enjoy splitting the turkey and call it a drink. The way day. you read it, splitting the turkey. <laughs> splitting. Okay, so so the turkey, right, mm -hmm. is when you're nailing a chick from behind and you gobble really loud with an open hand, slap her on the oh. ass, just as hard as you can. You leave a turkey print similar to when you were a kid and drew the outline of your hand. Okay, so yeah. that's what that is. We've got to like have like seven reference points to understand this. They have 17 fucking links in this one thing. So what is under oath then? Ah, uh, Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> Under Oath is apparently a Christian band that originated in Florida. <laughs> Shut the fuck That's up. That's not what I intended. <laughs> Patrick. What in the fuck? I can't even deal with you right now. Like, <laughs> we need to tie him up. <laughs> uh, I don't understand the Devil's Triangle. I don't like that one. Okay, well, can we guess another? That one's done. Let's guess another. Uh, yeah. One more. Let's just guess it. One um, more, and I'm going to be bad at it. Uh, does anybody know what danker is? No. Danker? Is that I, I know what dank is. It means you got some really good pot. Okay, so it does... <laughs> well, hang on. 
Dank <laughs> usually means pretty good. Dank you very okay, much. Okay, that's pretty much wow. what that is. So let's. Danker probably just um, means like more awesome. The, the Polish bike ride. Oh no! Whoa, that's okay, I have no. Oh no! I don't know what that is. Do you want to? That, that sounds. Would you rather so do bad. that or stop my bag? I like Polish bike ride. The Polish bike ride, even though I. Well, have what no about thumb and a softy? Uh, Not thumbing. Thumb uh, in a softy. Four words. So I mean, somebody a puts their finger or their thumb in your piss hole. Okay. I would say just like thumb up the ass, right? Like, thumb is an ass soft. I mean, thumb in a piss hole if your dick's soft makes total sense to me. I mean, but if I have to pick a third option, I don't know. Uh, what far. else is soft? Um, belly button. <laughs> <laughs> would that work? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I guarantee all three of us have soft belly buttons, so fuck all y'all. I'm clicking it. It's number 25 for the day. Look at y'all pulling out your belly buttons. Okay. It's more acceptable for men. I know. I'm not definitely not doing that. Okay. <laughs> That's oh. Funny. I'm not asking you to. I don't know. Oh, that. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think we've all had some level of experience with this. I'm nervous. The act... <laughs> Probably when we're in this type of situation, or I mean, um, drinking, maybe. Drink. The action of inserting a flaccid or semi flaccid penis into one sexual partner using a thumb or finger in an attempt to engage in coitus. Does it have to say when coitus? I don't know. I Could mean, it not just say just a fuck? Sex like. or fuck or whatever. Okay. What? But I'm sure you've all done it. Like when you're like not quite hard, but you're like, we're doing this. Fuck it. I'll get hard when I get in there. Uh, neither nope. confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> that is a confirm. <laughs> Thank you, Bill Clinton. Um, I did not have sex. I was going to say, <laughs> or did you not inhale? Which one is it? Okay, I did um, not inhale. The action is, oh, here we go. This is exactly what I said. Oh, no. The action is usually performed after the consumption of a considerable <laughs> amount of alcohol and is regarded as a token effort at sexual intercourse. Oh, no. So thumb and a softy, that's perfect. Oh well, like how is it spelled? It's an like, act. Thumb, thumb? no, like, thumb forwards. Thumb in a softy. So it's an act. You're so, thumbing in a softy. You're using your thumb to insert the softy. I feel. I feel like I've over-explained this. I feel like you did, <laughs> but no, like I feel like it would have been better. It made more sense if it was thumb in, thumb in, like thumbing, thumbing. without the G. Yeah, thumbing a softy. Yeah, but is it's saying just... thumb in. Like, I mean, I... In. In. Oh, oh, no. That is the alarm singling. Singling. Oh, boy. Singling. That we should absolutely start drinking milk or something and get ready for bed. <laughs> Water. <laughs> uh, just like flash Gallons. No. <laughs> we would all like to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for being here and experiencing oh, wait. this. There's a cop. Kevin Naughty. Oh, oh, we can do God. that. We can do that next this, episode. Oh, come on. I need to do it right now. We can do the next episode. But it's so relevant today. Do the research. We can do it next week. Oh. All right. It's really a let down. So no, we fine. have we can touch on something next completely week. exhausted our resources for tonight. <clears throat> so. Bottle's empty. I Whoa. completely appreciate every single one of you who have been listening. So, and if you'd like to hear my one voice even more, and if you have a product, a video, or Do anything that needs pitched, oh. please check out Fiverr.com. Shameless. That's F I V E R dot com. Shameless plug. Slash Patrick, please. One, that's P A T R I C K P L E E Z. One, that's P L Echo Echo Zulu. One, at <laughs> Fiverr. Fiverr.com. <laughs> so, wow, what a shameless plug to your Fiverr. <laughs> oh, I got some plugs. Oh, yeah, he does. I mean, I got He's my He's going to thumb them in all over the food. place. All right, thank you, loyal listeners. And up. please back, be back next week for Drunken Rambles. We may have a fourth. We may not. Who fucking knows? We'll see who we can steal one next week. Thank, Thank you guys you. for listening. Bye. Anybody else have a plug they want to put? Uh, I have a Twitch. I'll do it next week. <laughs> All right. Well, you having a Twitch isn't necessarily a thing. We knew you had a Twitch. <laughs> 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 All right. Goodbye, Jesus loyal Christ. listeners.